Jennifer. I'm from Poglas in Belfast. I'm currently unemployed at the minute, but I'm doing a qualification for youth work. And I like that, so I enjoy doing that. If we were seen in the town and we had our hoods up or wearing like neck goodies, like you wouldn't get into most shops and the security man would stop you and ask questions, where are you going and what you're doing and what shop are you get into. Literally it's just the way older people look down at the young ones, like they just say, oh he's this and he's that, but really we're really not, why should we be discriminated against and seen as the same as everyone else? From my personal point of view I think it affects everyone's earnings. It's a, big, it's a big issue in a lot of areas, and it's mainly Poglas, Trimberg and Agmore, like, and not even just the west of Belfast, and the east of Belfast too, I think. Just because we're from Poglas doesn't mean we steal stuff. Just because we're young drivers doesn't mean we're joyriders. It's why I fell in the wrong crew. Uh, I went to the cream, and in the cream I, I done bad things, which I regret. The world around you stop, still circles, but when you're in jail, everything just stops dead. You know what I mean? It's just you're 23 hour lacking but it's what you do your time is. Then teachers not do more for me instead of dropping me out of school. Because teachers know the consequences when they drop me out of school. And intact, why was I in that place? Why did that tell me I had a placement for seven months when I, was, I wasn't in the placement? So obviously, the my definition, you get told so much things and you don't do it, it messes your head up. When it messes your head up comes crime, what other comes out of crime, court, what other comes court, confixing. I've done some cross community work which has really helped me to understand that people from the other community are exactly the same as us. There's no difference. Whereas in school people would have just looked down on you if you were from different areas in Belfast. The facilitators sort of give you two or three things to do every week and will help you with applications for work or anything that you can't do by yourself. Because in school it's just it's a boring background, there's no perspective in it. You're just in a classroom, you're bored, you're melted. But if you're in like if you're in bed, you're in a different environment and you're sitting you're not melted, you're in your own clothes, you're you're just there to do it, do you know what I mean? You enjoy it more, it's enjoyable. It just changed the ring like before it didn't show me direction like where I wanna go because before it didn't didn't know what I wanted to do, didn't know where I was gonna be in a few years time, but now like a I've got my path all cleared out, I don't want to do my youth work, like I want to be a youth leader, that's what I want to do. Uh, Cross community projects, we've dealt with that a lot recently with Tully Carnet and Kathleen and Patterson, obviously, and it's really good, like I've really enjoyed every single moment of it. I thought my boyfriend would be pleased when I told him the news. I thought he'd be happy. I'm pregnant. What? You can't even look after the freaking child you've got. Why are you treating me like this? I just told you I'm pregnant with your baby. I can't take any more of this fucking shit, I'm out of here! Water off this man. Here goes nothing okay. And I'm thinking. When social services took Ruby, I didn't think things could get any worse. But they did. Still on boys going to follow. Mate, tell me it was right, did not see me. It was up and I was going like mad, so it was. People were going crazy. Mate, that's mad. I think he needs to get help or something. I don't, I don't know why he gets all like it. It's not fair on everyone else, but I'm about on looking after him. Hello? Mickey, where are you? We're going to have a party. I don't want any drugs. But why? Because. Because I'm pregnant. Who hey, too? It's not mine. Forget it, I'm finished with you. You're a waster. All the more for me then. We just heard something we think you might like to know. Why well, with Sean, what's happening now? Uh, we're just walking past the park there and I'm seeing Michael in the park with another girl. Where's my mummy? I told you, I'll, I'll have it for you for the weekend. You may have for the weekend, because you know what'll happen if you don't have for the weekend. I will, I promise I just need some stuff now, hard stuff. Weekend, mate. I love her. The hell with my bit in the side. That baby's not mine. Where am I going to get the money to pay for my drugs?
Let's get out! I'm for it now. Can't go home. No job. Drug dealer after me. What am I going to do? Oh my god. In five years time, I would like to be living in Australia. In five years time, I'd like to see myself in my own business as a mechanic fixing cars. In five years time, I'd like to see myself as a firefighter protecting and serving our community. I'd like to be working as a music producer. I'd love to train to be a behaviour therapist. In five years time, I would like to see myself as a paramedic. I would like to see myself doing pharma. In five years time, I'd like to see myself as a qualified youth worker working with young people. In the future, I want to be a professional graphic designer and work in a company or start my own business. In the future, I want to join the army. I would like to see myself in five years' time as an occupational therapist towards kids with a disability. In five years' time, I would like to see myself um, still volunteering and helping out in the community because that's one thing I really enjoy doing. In ten years' time, I would like to see myself working with special needs kids as a classroom assistant, etc. What I want to do is just because I think I get on my phone and it's really interesting. Everything's always different.